is the first time I'm using my hex clad pans. Um, I'm sorry. Just put the bayonets on it, uh, sauce on it. Not sauce. Uh, it would be bayonets sauce, but it's bayonets powder on it. And uh, not doing a very good job of actually showing cooking it. It's a salmon dish. Salmon, uh, bell peppers. I usually just use whatever bell peppers I have on hand. Uh, salmon, bell peppers, uh, cheese. I use this craft cheese, which I'll show once I'm done mixing it. Um, and then three eggs, two or three eggs. It depends on how many eggs I have. And salmon. It's a f four or five ounces of salmon, typically five ounces. And uh, I'm using this new hex clad pan to uh, cook it. Uh, it is the first time using it, so it is sticking a little bit, but that's okay because it's going to stick in anything because it's, you know, once you add the egg, you pretty well are guaranteed you're going to get it sticking a little bit. Okay. So there we go. I think I mixed it a lot, uh, pretty good. And it's done. Shut it off. Um, I also got these. These are bamboo. Uh, uh, I got these at HEB. <clears throat> I'll show the um, the bayonets. Uh, I don't want it to stay on there. I'm gonna move it over to the where it's not hot. And this can these can stand like up to 500 degrees or something like that. Um, but I'll show you the bayonets that I used. Uh, these powders. Uh, so that's the seasoning packet. Is this core bayonet sauce? Got a salmon, Norwegian salmon at HEB. Um, the cheese that I use is this Kraft Creamy Melt Triple Cheddar. And uh, just, like I said, bell peppers, two bell peppers cut into strips. Um, and uh, I chop up the salmon with it. And uh, it usually this, this uh, usually lasts me three days. So this is three days worth of food here. Um, and uh, in the new hex clad pan, it's sticking a little, but it is the first time use. Um, and I followed the instructions of soapy water to clean it. And then, um, and then a little bit of oil in it to uh, season the And, the, and these, these brown bits are, I actually really like. As for what this dish would be called, I have no idea. I just basically just one day just started putting things together with salmon because it's, I'm always worried I'm gonna undercook or overcook it. Um, and then with this, I, I actually don't have that problem. It doesn't taste like over or undercooked. I mean, definitely not undercooked. And anyway, doing a great job, I know, with the, uh, the phone here, getting my finger in the way and everything, but that's what you've got when you're filming yourself and trying to cook at the same time. Okay, so I'm gonna enjoy my, we'll call it salmon souffle, or I don't know what we'll call it actually, but salmon and bell peppers. Have a good one, thank you very much.